All right, 13 is pretty tricky. What I would do for 13 is rewrite your equation to think about it a bit differently. Oops, didn't mean to write a 3. Sorry, get rid of that. So sine of 3x minus 1, let's integrate this guy. And instead of calling it this guy, let's use the fundamental theorem of calculus to call it big F of x minus big F of a. So then big F of x must be the sine of 3x and big F of A must be 1. So the question is, if big F of A is 1, that means the sine, oops, the sine of 3A must be equal to 1. So sine is equal to 1, where the angle is equal to pi over 2, so A must be pi over 6. And then for 14, what you want here is, um, you're going to do a midpoint technique, and you need your calculator, it says three rectangles, you go from negative one to five, so each one is two wide. So you're doing twice, and then midpoint, you're really needing f of zero plus f of two plus f of four are the midpoints of each of these intervals. And this is your f function right here. So if we go to our calculators, which we will need, let's go ahead and plug in x cubed minus x. Oops, apparently I should clear out what I'm doing. So second F1, new problem, let's set it up here. So x cubed minus x plus 1, and then I need to evaluate this at 0, 2, and 4. So let's scroll to the end and do such that x equals 0, x equals 2, and x equals 4. I just realized that I forgot to do the square root. Psi. So let's do the square root. So the square root of the x cubed minus x plus 1. That is our expression. So now I'm going to evaluate that such that x equals 0. Try it again, right? Then I need that such that x equals 2, and then that such that x equals 4. So now I need to take each of these three and multiply them by 2. So let's do this two times, open paren, we'll grab them all in succession. One plus rad seven plus rad 61. Close paren, enter. Oh my goodness, what is that? Well, let's bring it into the line, hit green diamond, enter. We get 22.912 choice B.